Wi-Fi Sheep would like to say a huge thank you to all of you that kindly support us. Help us continue to bring new videos like this. Join patreon.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep from just $1 a month. Hi everyone, how are you doing? And a very warm welcome to youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep with me, Tom. Now, whenever I think I've found something that I think is useful, I like to share it with you here on the channel. You might remember a little while ago I did a video uh, talking about the variants of the Atmega 328P and the PB chipset that completely confused me at the time and I made a whole video about it and many of you are still commenting even up until yesterday saying thank you so much for making that video and it really really helped me out. Well, I have discovered a fix to another problem relating to microcontrollers. Okay, so take a look at these. There's this one, and this one, and this one, and there's that one. And there's many, many others similar to this or like this. You can get them in all shapes and sizes. Now, these are all microcontrollers. And I'm going to ask you the question, what do they all have in common? Not a trick question, I promise you. Genuine question. Apart from the fact they're all made in China. So these are all clones and they're all made in China. That's not the answer. What do they all have in common? Well, the answer is this little chip here, which is here and here and there and here on this nano underneath hiding there it's the same chip regardless of the fact that these are arduino clones and these are that's an esp32 and that's an esp128 so i forget the number it's not it's not a 32 it's the earlier one but anyway so 32 bit 8 bit very different architectures but they've all got this one chip in common what is that chip well it's called the ch340 and it's the USB to serial interface chip that most of these clones and virtually all ESP and ESP32 products seem to use exclusively. Actually, while we're on the subject of microcontrollers, just a reminder, you can head over to our partners at PCBWay.com. There you can find all sorts of interesting user projects that use microcontrollers. And you can actually buy and source things like Arduino Nano or ESP32. And here is my own little project from a while ago, custom PCB. If you're on the Tiny Basic Computers project, you can actually download this as a Gerber file and PCBWay can actually make up boards for you if you wanted to go that far. So do go and check that out, pcbway.com. Now, CH340 driver can be downloaded on the internet, but it is a native Chinese driver. And I can appreciate how some people may be uncomfortable in installing this on a Windows or Mac system. I mean, even I used uh, burner PCs for a while because uh, I wasn't confident with the CH340 chip and uh, drivers until much later on. Also, and we had this problem at work, if we wanted to use this kind of architecture at work, we couldn't because we were locked out of our IT systems, which were all Windows 10 based. Although we had the Arduino IDE installed, we couldn't install any third party drivers onto the system without permission from IT, and that was never happening. So we were suddenly limited to the products we could actually use at work. Well, the other day I made something of a discovery. Again, this was at work. I was testing out one of these clone Arduino Mega boards and I was asked to plug it into one of our PC lab computers and I said, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Anyway, I just plugged it in via USB. Didn't think much more of it. And I was blown away when all of a sudden it worked. And I was thinking to myself, what is going on here? OK, so here is the Arduino IDE. This is the latest version I have running on the Mac. At the time of recording, it is version 2.2.1. If I grab myself a Arduino board, let's try this one, and I'm just going to plug USB and let's plug the other end into the Mac, which is just here off camera. They shouldn't, without external drivers, work on a Mac. But if I go to Tools, and we'll just make sure we select the correct board, which is Mega. 
select which port we're on which is one of these two and I forget which one let's try that and get board info there it is it shows up now I haven't installed anything I can assure you I've not installed anything onto this board and there's no drivers loaded here on the Mac the new version of the Arduino IDE that's version 2.2.1 literally has drivers for CH340 microcontrollers now built in. So this is absolutely fantastic news because it now means we can much more easily use boards such as clones, which are much cheaper, or ESP32 technology, which exclusively uses the CH340 driver. So it opens up all kinds of opportunities. And also it means if you're following me, for example, on Tiny Basic Computers or the Project Rail 8-bit builds, where we are almost exclusively using clone boards, you don't have to faff around installing these third-party Chinese drivers anymore. If you just install the free stock Arduino IDE, all these clone boards should now work straight out the box, which is fantastic. Okay, so... I know it's a small video of this one, but I just thought this was a big enough story that was probably going to get sidetracked, as every other channel seems to be talking just about Raspberry Pi 5 at the moment, that this kind of thing would slip under the radar. And to be honest with you, if you're dealing with microcontrollers and have limited lockdown systems or need to use certain third party or clone microcontroller systems, this is big news and really, really is going to make your life so much easier. So I hope you can go and download the latest version of the Reno IDE and try that out for yourself on Windows and Mac. As I said, Linux was unaffected and strangely was unaffected beforehand. So I don't know what the story is with that, but I found it on uh, Debian and Ubuntu, both x86 and ARM-based Linux OSs just didn't seem to have a problem with the driver. So your guess is as good as mine. If you actually know the reason, I would generally be curious. So do drop that in the comments of this video. If you haven't done so already, please do consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you real soon right here on the channel. Until next time, bye for now.